Here is how to get Saedo's minimap inside Minecraft 1.21.6 so you can play using a minimap. If this video helps you, all I ask in return is that you subscribe. Let's go! Now, the first step is to download Saedo's. Click on the second link in the description. This is a quick article in here on how to install Saedo's in case this video is too fast for you. But if you want to go straight to the point, go down to step 1 and then press on Saedo's minimap right here. That is going to redirect you to this page where you're going to select game version and you're going to select 1.21.6. Then you're going to go ahead and download Saedo's for whatever mod loader you are running. And if you're not running any mod loader, don't worry, I'm going to teach you what to do in a second. But again, if you have Fabric already, just download the Fabric version. If you have Neoforge, download the Neoforge version. And if you have Forge as a mod loader, just wait until you have Forge in here, which should be soon. Now, if you don't have any mod loader, we're going to go ahead and download the Neoforge one. And I'm going to teach you how to get Neoforge in just a second. For that, click on these three dots and then click Download File. That'll begin the download within five seconds of the Saedos minimap file. And I want you to go ahead and place that file in your desktop. You can find that file here on your recent download history or within the downloads folder of your computer. Just drag and drop it into your desktop, just like that. And again, Again, if you already have a mod loader and you downloaded the right Saedos for your mod loader, just add Saedos to your mods folder and you're done, right? But if you don't have any mod loader, since you downloaded the Neoforge just like me, we're going to go ahead and download Neoforge next. Now, we have videos on the channel on how to do this, but I'm going to try and guide you super quick. Click on the third link down below in the description. Again, I'm already going on how to do this in case this video is too fast. But if you want to go straight to the point, go down to step one and click on Neoforge. That is going to redirect you right here, where you're going to download the 1.21.6 version, which is right here. If you don't see it in here, just click on for other versions and then go to the version and select one that 21 that six now if you already see it here just go ahead and click on the latest neoforge installer that'll begin the download right away for the neoforge installer and you want to go ahead and drag and drop this file into your desktop just like you did with Saedos minimap again you can find this file in your recent download history and the downloads folder of your computer now go ahead and open the neoforge installer first though make sure you have closed your minecraft game as well as your minecraft launcher and also make sure you have played minecraft 1 21 6 vanilla at least once on your computer after that just double click on the neoforge installer and it's going to look just like this right here and you want to select install client and then you want to go ahead and press proceed. Now, if you didn't get the Neoforge installer to open and you're going to need Java 21 to install any mods for Minecraft 1.20.5 and above, of course, including 1.21.6. So I'm going to leave you guys down below this article to install Java 21. It's super quick. You just download Java 21, hit next a couple of times, you'll have it installed and then you'll be able to open the installer. Now, let's just wait for Neoforge to finish installing. Now, once Neoforge installs, just go ahead and press OK right here and you could delete the Neoforge installer from your desktop as well as the installer log because you don't need that anymore. Now, it's time to add Saedos to the game. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher and when the launcher opens, if you install Neoforge properly, you should see it selected here automatically. If you don't see it in here, just head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. Now it's time to add Saedos. For that, you're going to head over to installations again, and now you're going to find Neoforge in here. You're going to hover over it, and then you're going to press open installations folder. That is going to open a folder that contains a lot of files, but you're looking for a specific folder called mod, M-O-D-S. And as you can see, I have my mods folder right here, but let's suppose that you don't have a mods folder and I'm going to delete mine. All you have to do if you don't have a mods folder is press new, press folder, and then just name this folder mod. M-O-D-S. Just like that. You could go ahead and create the mods folder yourself. Now, open this folder app and then drag and drop Saedos, the jar file that we downloaded earlier in the first step, into this folder. It's that easy. Just go ahead and drag and drop it into here. If you're adding any other mods, just make sure they're compatible with your mod loader, which in this case is Neoforge, and make sure they're compatible with Minecraft 1.21.6. Then, all you have to do is close this folder, head back into the launcher, and then hit play next to Neoforge. Now, when your game loads, just open a world and you will have Saedos open, as you can see, on the top right or the top left. And if you want to set up Saedos, however you want, just press Y on your keyboard, the letter Y, the key Y, and then you will open this menu here where you could change position for the minimap, where you could just change everything that you want for the minimap in here. You also have the U option where you will be able to open the waypoints in here. So you could add waypoint, you could teleport between waypoints and all of that. And there you guys have it. That is how to install Saedos for Minecraft 1.21.6. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.